Scientists have captured images of the mysterious giant squid in their natural habitat. This is incredible. Look at this video. It was captured off the coast of Japan, and you can see more of it Sunday night on the Discovery Channel. Edie Weider is one of the marine biologists involved in the expedition. Good morning, Doctor. How are you? I'm very good. So this is incredible, and people, these images are so incredible. Explain how hard it is to get these pictures of the giant squid. Well, we've been trying for a very, very long time. It's really been uh, since the mid-13th century that people have been talking about this enigma. And in the last 50 years, there have been a number of expeditions to go look, but none have succeeded until this. So why is that? Why is it hard? Because we were exploring in a different way than anybody has before. I think in the past, we've been scaring animals away. And so we used red light that they can't see, and then we used an optical lure to draw them in towards us. I have to say, uh, Dr. Witter, that I was the one in the meeting going, really, we're doing a story about a giant squid because? But you said that this is really amazing stuff. You were clearly very excited about it. Why? Well, it's been said that we know more about the be uh, moons behind than the ocean's bottom. Yeah. Right. And, mm -hmm. and we've explored only about 5% of our ocean. And look what's down there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we haven't even been doing it right. And just the size, the size of these amazing. squid, 25 feet long, some of their tentacles even bigger. We know so little about them. I mean, there's such mythology surrounding giant squids. You know, we were talking about it this morning, that their eyeballs are the size of like a soccer ball, right? Or is it bigger than that? It's the size of your head. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a wow. big eyeball, you see Nora. how big my head is? <laughs> the size of Nora's head. Oh, my gosh. And, 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 and that, that they can eat, you said that they can eat buildings, that they can eat people. Well, that was the mythology, mm -hmm. is that they could eat people. But uh, actually, that's not most, true? Well, no, definitely not. They, they, they <laughs> but, mostly but we eat other sure, squid. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't know a lot, yeah. but, but we're pretty sure about that one. Uh -huh. But they, they eat other squid to a large extent and fish. Back to your question about the moon. We know more about the backside of the moon than we know about the deep is what are we going to find and what's the exploration about? Well, it, it, we, can, we know so little. As I said, we've only explored 5%. There could be cures for cancer down there. Whoa. The Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2008 was awarded for a chemical extracted from a bioluminescent jellyfish. And that discovery has been equated to the invention of the microscope in terms mm -hmm. of the impact it's had on science. So how do we even know? And we've spent billions on exploring outer space and only millions on exploring the deep ocean. And the payoff may be even greater. Huge. You know, the, so you talk about that only 5% of our ocean explored. How many giant squid are estimated yeah. out there? Do we have any sense? Actually, we do based on the beak. The giant squid is a cool creature because it's got a <laughs> parrot-like beak that can rip flesh. And those don't break down in the bellies of whales. And they're based on that, they estimate there could be millions. How will this new technology uh, change things moving forward, do you think? I think that there'll be new discoveries so long as we can get the opportunities like this to go out with ships and submersibles. Unfortunately, we're switching more and more to remote operated vehicles, which I think really do scare the animals away. But submersibles and the camera system I was using are very unobtrusive, and I think that'll allow us to see a whole lot more. This may be a stupid question, but are there any squid in aquariums? There are squid in aquariums, but not giant squid. Not giant squid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes and you feel differently about calamari next time. <laughs> I hope it makes people feel different about the ocean in general. Oh, I'm thinking calamari, you're thinking ocean. I got it. I got it. That's well taken. Yes, it does. <laughs> this yeah. is so fascinating, Doctor. Thank you so much, and good luck with all of your work.